Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. CeeDee Lamb brawls his way to stellar game on TNF. When CeeDee Lamb showed up to training camp in Oxnard in July, it was clear that he had taken a different leap in his game. It was clear even before the pads went on in week two. He was bulkier, but twitchier. More physical, but still elusive. Five months later, those traits are ringing truer than they ever have in his short career with the Dallas Cowboys after yet another dominant performance against the Seattle Seahawks on Thursday night with 12 receptions, 116 yards and one touchdown. I wouldn't be where I am without this team, quite honestly, Lamb said. O-line doing what they're doing up front, protecting Doc. Doc doing what he's doing, playing to the best of his ability. My receiver room, we're all doing what we gotta do to get open. We're just trying to put these pieces together. The physicality specifically is what stood out from Lamb on Thursday night. Against arguably the most physical secondary in the league with guys like Jamal Adams, Tarek Woolen and rookie sensation Devin Witherspoon laying brutal hits and throwing hands in coverage, Lamb was not phased. Instead, he gave the physicality right back and fought his way, literally, to one of his best performances of the season. It's gonna be times where I take hits, he said. It's gonna be times where I give hits. I gotta treat them the same, and obviously get back up and be there for my guys. It was, very physical. We needed these type of games, these games coming down the stretch. It's big. Lamb's night began with back-to-back -back receptions that accounted for 31 yards on the offense's opening drive before hauling in his third grab on the ensuing drive that saw him score his seventh touchdown of the year on a 15-yard throw from Dak Prescott. We got the look we wanted, he said. Doc put the ball in the perfect position to where the DB couldn't get it. All I had to do was run a route. The win moves the Cowboys to 9-3 after a four-game winning streak. The last time this squad lost, it was to the Philadelphia Eagles, the next opponent that awaits in 10 days. Obviously, we're happy, we came out with a dub, Lamb said. But we're not content, continuing to build, continuing to get better. Next week, we know who we got. Dallas Cowboys rumors continue to swirl about the future of Shaq Leonard. If the Cowboys do not land the star defender, there are other options for additional help at linebacker. 105.3 The fans Bobby Belt believes four-time Pro Bowler Anthony Barr could be a backup option if Leonard signs elsewhere. Barr just signed with the Minnesota Vikings on a practice squad deal. Dallas could still sign Barr off of Minnesota's practice squad if it was to the Cowboys' 53-man roster. Anthony Barr was recently signed to the Vikings' practice squad. Belt explained during a November 24, 2023 episode of the Love of the Star podcast. And he was actually a practice squad elevation, played in the Vikings game last Sunday after they had been dealing with some injury issues at linebacker themselves. But he is on the practice squad. That is somebody who does understand the Cowboys' defense. Has played within it. I wonder, just myself, if the Cowboys do lose out on Shaquille Leonard and they need to go get another linebacker. They need to go get another body. It would seem that it would make some sense to say, well, let's go get a veteran who was also here last year. He's on a practice squad. He's in playing shape. Let's just go make this signing off the practice squad. Cowboys rumors. Dallas is expected to get an answer on Shaq Leonard this weekend. The Cowboys' primary choice for depth at linebacker appears to be signing Leonard. There has been no indication that Dallas was scared off by his medicals or anything about his visit to the star. Leonard also took a visit to Philadelphia and is expected to make a decision this weekend. FALB Shaq Leonard, having visited the Eagles and Cowboys, is expected to think on it and make a decision over the weekend, NFL Network's Ian Rapoport detailed on November 29. There has been some trepidation among Cowboys fans that Leonard left Dallas without signing a deal. CBS Sports Jocena Anderson described Leonard's visit with the Cowboys as positive. Also as for Leonard's visit with the Cowboys, my understanding is the feeling in Dallas is he can contribute, Anderson tweeted on November 28. Don't read anything into Leonard not signing right away. Leonard is being given room right now to make a decision.
though if Leonard chooses Dallas the current expectation is that he would not play this weekend. Cowboys' Dak Prescott should be in NFL MVP talks after torching Seahawks, per Ryan Fitzpatrick. Dak Prescott threw three touchdown passes and the Dallas Cowboys extended their home winning streak to 14 games, rallying for a 41-35 shootout victory over the Seattle Seahawks on Thursday night. Prescott was electric for the Cowboys, going 29-41 for 299 yards and zero interceptions to go along with his three touchdowns. After the game, Ryan Fitzpatrick had high praise for Prescott, according to David Hellman of Fox Sports. Doc, I think he entered the MVP conversation tonight. Ryan Fitzpatrick, on the season, Prescott has thrown for 3,234 yards to go along with 26 touchdowns and only 6 interceptions. While there is certainly stiff competition, Prescott's numbers are certainly MVP worthy. More importantly, he's doing it on the big stage. First there was the Thanksgiving Day performance last week, where he had 331 passing yards and 4 touchdown passes in the Cowboys' beatdown of the Commanders. Then the big showing against the Seahawks on Thursday night football. Prescott has the Cowboys at 9-3 after leading them to their fourth straight win. Dallas hasn't lost since falling to the Philadelphia Eagles 28-23 to start November. They have a rematch with the Eagles on December 10. A big performance against the 10-1 Eagles would likely be the thing that really pushes Prescott into the national MVP conversation. After a slow start that saw Prescott throw multiple touchdowns only once for the Cowboys in the first six games of the season, the Cowboys quarterback has hit his stride. In his last six games he's thrown for four, three, four, two, four, and three touchdowns. More importantly, the Cowboys have gone 4-1 to one in that stretch. If Prescott maintains this pace, he'll have to be considered an MVP candidate. Prescott throws for three TDs as Cowboys extend home win streak to 14. Dak Prescott threw three touchdown passes and the Dallas Cowboys extended their home winning streak to 14 games, rallying for a 41-35 victory over the Seattle Seahawks on Thursday night. Prescott's 12-yard pass to Jake Ferguson put Dallas in front with four and a half minutes remaining as the Cowboys, 9-3, set up a rematch with NFC East rival Philadelphia by escaping for a fourth consecutive victory since falling to the Eagles 28-23 to start November. Geno Smith threw three touchdown passes to DK Metcalf, including a 73-yarder, as the Seahawks, 6-6, got their offense going again. But Seattle couldn't avoid a third consecutive loss to drop to .500 for the first time since splitting its first two games of the season.